For an electric fence to be effective, the circuit must be completed. When an animal touches the fence wire, the circuit is closed. The current flows back through the ground or earth return, to the earth stakes and back to the energizer. Earthing is one of the most important components of an electric fence system, but over 80% of electric fencing problems can be attributed to poor earthing. The law in South Africa dictates that at least three galvanized earth stakes should be used that are at least 1.2 meters in length. They should be inserted a stake length apart or 1.2 meters. Connect the earth stakes using a single length of double insulated undergate cable and clamp the cable securely in place. Ideally, the earth stake should be inserted into moist soil, either near a building or along the fence line for protection. At least 2 meters away from any mains power supply, underground telephone cables, mains earth stakes or water pipes. In dry ground conditions, the fence earth return wires are connected to the earth stakes to improve the earthing circuit. By law, an additional earth stake should be added every 30 meters in an urban environment or 100 meters in a rural area to improve the ground return circuit. One should never connect two or more energizers to the same earth stakes. You should also refrain from using copper earth stakes, as this can cause corrosion between the unlike metals of the earth stakes and the undergate wire. Make sure no part of the earthing system touches a building. Do not connect the energizer earth to a public electricity utility or telecommunications earthing system. And never connect the earth to a water mains. For more information on earthing, consult the earthing section of our website.